and I would like to tell you in this video today we have changed a couple of things in our students object I would like to show you so that you can uh, you can follow whenever you are adding the students so first of all uh, uh, whenever you are clicking on the student there is option you see that is a new right so whenever you click on the new uh, you can add the students now all the mandatory information which you have to fill we have kept it together that is a name email id phone and abroad country so let's say uh, you have any student call uh, this touch any any email you just put it down here and then uh, you keep the number now let's say if the student is planning to go united states you have to click the country then there is a option uh, that is a right arrow is there which you have to click it, it. Uh, so when you click this right arrow the university will go down here if you have the uh, other countries also if the students wish to apply then you can select the multiple country also and then you just save the record so whenever you are saving the record now there will be a three email will be generated and then I will show you what are the three emails and along with the emails you will also get the chatter uh, chatter on your uh, right hand side so uh, these three things are which will be there one is that thanks for creating the profile of the student name and then please upload the student's document so let me cover what are the student's documents you have to cover either you can click on this link or you can directly go to the upload a document so whenever you are going to the upload documents now we are providing you the uh, the screen where you will mention what documents you are uploading because in the before version there was uh, there was some confusion that we were not sure about it what documents you uploaded but now onwards you have to tick which are the documents you are uploading and then you can upload those documents so let's say um, uh, you have a you have a uh, 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 this uh, resume and passport is ready then you just click on the next then you click on the resume and the passport and uh, you upload the documents so when you upload the documents you will uh, it, it will ask you to which resume you have so let's say if you have kept any resume somewhere then uh, just uh, upload the resume and then if you have any passport is available in your system then you can also upload the passport here you can click uh, if it is in the same folder then you can also uh, you can also click uh, uh, you can select the multiple files together so let's say uh, uh, you have a passport ready with you and then you select the uh, passport field so now I have the student's resume and the passport as of now because uh, other things he has not provided to me then you can just leave this options blank and then you can just say next to this one it will give you the screen will give you the option okay thanks for uploading this document now if you have any further documents av available then you can again come back to this place upload documents and then you can upload all those documents so now you see that two documents are verified there is a resume and passport is already updated and uh, uh, these are you can see it a passport and resume in your system we always recommend it, uh, you rename the file whenever you are uploading so let's say uh, if the student's name is Abhishek Bajaj then you put as a Abhishek Bajaj passport or Abhishek Bajaj resume which help us to understand the documents you are uploading and you clicked on the same um, like if you are uploading the resume and passport then clicked here and whenever you have the uh, let's say now you will have a SOP also ready then you can click on the SOP and then you can uh, upload the SOP from the system okay anything so whatever the uh, SOP you have you can upload from here so now uh, system will inform you that these three documents are ready and these five are documents are remaining from your end and my team will take a follow up, you, follow up with you in next two three days time then uh, you have to complete this document so three days time that is uh, time where you can collect the documents from your student and then you can upload it here so this is the first thing like uh, uploading the student, student documents and doing the checklist of all, all your students 
the second thing is that now uh, depending on the depending on the uh, country which you are selecting so for this case if you remember we have selected a broad country as a united states so as per the united states whatever the um, whatever the uh, top selling universities we have we will give you the list here itself uh, previously the counselors will take one and two days time uh, due to their busy schedule for shortlisting the university now we will providing you the shortlisting by the system itself so that you have a basic understanding uh, where to apply because sometimes we have seen that the partners uh, they get a walk in of the students and they want which are the universities are open for this week or uh, which are the top selling university where uh, you will get a more commissions for that we are providing the one short listing of 10 universities uh, in hand but in the end if when you are completing the uh, complete profile of the students and then you are tagging your um, counselors or your manager then you can uh, they will also give you some more options if you do not want to proceed with this option then definitely they will give you some more options according to the profile whatever you are filling it here so that is the second thing the third thing is that uh, now for the uh, all the uh, all the uh, student uh, you will get the manager assigned there so you see the manager email id please contact number the, uh, this one so if you get any further uh, questions regarding uh, the commissions or regarding the uh, counselors or documentations or anything whatever it's uh, concerned for your students then definitely you can directly connect with the your manager here just type the at the rate namrata and uh, she she can help you uh, for your further query uh, either it can be related to the counselors or the student profile and then uh, uh, one thing is that the, we are creating one task the uh, the task you should complete all the tasks so that you will not get a mail notification from the um, from the system itself so let's say one task is created with the name of the student when you click on this task it will uh, ask you to please upload the student documents so this uh, uploading the documents because we have uh, we have some pre, uh, completed only the two documents in the first place so the task will created that you have to upload the entire documents so let's say when you complete all the documents uh, when you upload all the uh, required documents then you can just mark as a complete so when you mark as a complete you will not get, get a reminder after three days otherwise system will after three days it will give you remind that you have to um, you have to submit the remaining documents so uh, hopefully you like this video if you still have any query feel free to contact your bdm and they will help you for that thank you very much